Hello, this is Wisdom Hunter, and these are videos for solo gaming for D&D RPG and on Roll20. I'm going to go a little deeper into this attack simulation sheet that I have in Excel. I had a request for it, and this could be an extremely long video, but I will try and make this as short as possible. There is really so much going on in this attack simulation sheet. It took me years to develop it, tweaking it all the time, adding new things, adjusting new things, and making it so the numbers really came out nicely for these uh, simulations. So let me just kind of run through the areas of this sheet. Over here up to the top left, you'll have the NPCs. There's spaces for six of them. And you'll see the, the basic information for each AC, HP, attack bonus, and damage per attack. So that just breaks it down into the basic components of, a, of combat. And then I can change the roles on these. Now I can change the monster roles on each one of these by going through this drop down list. And then here, just by this little toggle box over here, I can change how many there are. Four, drop it down to three, two. I can change how many of those NPCs are in the combat. Name is just if I want to put a name, I just type in the name. And over here I have another drop down list of all the levels in my sheet down to level 91. And just so you know, let me take you down and show you that down below. You'll see all these numbers here for level. Level 6, level 10, level 15. So here at level 15, you'll see all these numbers coming across here. Now what I've done is taken all these numbers in these columns and created like a category for them. So you can index these numbers. And so if you know how to run indexes in Excel, you'll know how to do those. I'll show you the equations in a bit. Okay, so that's the area for the NPCs. And over here is an area for the PCs where I put their stats. And it's a little different over here because I can put the straight AC. But then for the HP, you'll see that the equation for the HP is a little different. The HP is actually taking this number right here, which is the base HP, plus any extra HPs from spells or rage or wild shape or things like that. So you have to kind of figure sometimes certain PCs have extra HPs or effective HPs then you add them in there. And that gives the total over here of the HP. And also if I want to take into consideration the reserve hit points that the PCs have and try and cut into their reserve hit points, I can activate this up here by saying one. And as soon as I put in a one, now it's going to take 33% of their reserve hit points and add those into the encounters and say, okay, we're going to put up for grabs some of their reserve hit points too. And that'll really put pressure on the party. I don't just look at their hit points. I'm also looking at their reserve hit points for the combat if I want to. If I want to really find out how this combat's going to affect the overall hit points of the party, I can do that. I will leave that at zero for now. And then put in the attack bonus. And then for damage, there's a base damage per attack. And over here, there'll be some extra damage sometimes that you can get from Hunter's Mark, Sneak Attack, and other things. And so you can do your base attacks, and also some of your and some of your extra damage can go in there too. And up here will be the base attacks and the extra attack DC if the PC is able to roll for an extra attack. And then here, this 2.6, that'll be the number of attacks per round on average that the PC will be able to do. And over here, the 60% is the percentage of success on a hit against the average PC. So I can quickly judge in there what type of NPCs I start putting in there, what's the percentage of success. And you'll see these numbers over here where I see the average PC, average NPC. You'll see the equation up there to figure out the number of PCs. You'll see the equation to figure out the average AC. Up above you'll see the equation to do the average HP. Well, actually it's the total HP. And here you'll see the equation up above to do the average attack bonus, average damage. You can pause the video and write these down if you need to. And over here, this is just basically the, the average damage that the group does per round. And on average, they're having 60% possibilities of success on their hits. And down here will be the average for the NPCs. There's a little bit of weighted for the NPCs. So even though I have over here three NPCs, one of level 20 and two of level 10, it comes over here as an effective 2.1. And you'll see up there the equation for figuring that out is that it's basically based upon hit points. How many hit points do they have? You'll see the equation up there. 
And then the AC, you'll see the equation there to do the AC. Total hit points, equation, attack, attack bonus, damage. Here you'll see the percentage of success on hits. And down here you'll see the total damage that the NPCs can do per each round against this particular group of PCs. Okay. Now down here, this is going to be the simulation. So the HP of the NPCs, their total is 151. The HP of the PCs is 145 and it starts off from there. And then it starts going through round by round by round, figuring out how many hit points each is losing. Now there's a bit of a, uh, it's not just a linear thing where every round they're taking the same amount of damage. As the compact goes on and as the HPs are going down for each group, there's a little equation there to determine, well, if they're going down in HP, that means there's less in the group. So there's a little equation there that says, okay, as the HP are going down by certain thresholds, the numbers in the group are dying. And so there's less and less attacks being done because there's less HP. So there's a little equation in there to uh, figure that out. So I'll click on here so you can see the equation. There you can see the equation up there just for the starting HP. Starting HP for the PCs, you'll see the equation up there. Now in round one, this is the equation for figuring out how much damage NPCs take in the first round and how many hit points are left at the end of that round. Same thing here for the PCs. You'll see the equation up there. That's how it's all determined to figure out how many hit points they're going to have at the end of round one. This is taking on the average and looking at how the, the average of these groups will come together. And then as you go on to round two, it's, it'll be the same equations, just moving along. I'll just leave each one up there. So you'll see how it's moving along. You can stop and pause, but it's basically once you've got round one, the equation for round one written, you can just copy it across that whole row for, for the NPCs and also for the HPs. Now, down below here is gonna be the percentage of hit points lost. And this is for the PCs. What percentage of hit points they've lost? You can see in this battle, they've gone all the way down to zero. So they've got 0% hit points left. Because this is too tough. The battle is just too tough. I'm going to take this up to three PCs. I will say two. I think that'll be better. Yeah, well, maybe let's make it a little tougher. There. Now you'll see that the PCs started out with 290 hit points and you can see that round by round by round their hit points are going down until finally at the end of the simulation there's 176 hit points left in the group which is 61 percent you can see the equation up there that's 61 percent of their starting hp and this is down here is this this is just basically saying how many hit points these groups are losing in each round Simple uh, equation, you can see the equations up there. And then down here in this space, when I want to do an actual simulation but with dice, I'll take the, all the information up above and I'll, I'll, give in, I'll roll an initiative order and I'll have all of the NPCs and the PCs go to battle where I'm rolling dice for each one and then I compare the result against what the simulation is saying. So I could run, let's say 10 simulations by hand, writing down here how many hit points they have at the end of the round, how many hit points this PC has at the end of a round, down here how many hit points this NPC has at the end of the round. And I take all that information and I compare it against the simulation to find out if the simulation is finding a proper average or not. And then I can tweak some of the equations. So that's what I've done over the years to tweak these equations so that the simulations by Excel really match the simulations by hand. Let me go up here and just start letting you see some of the equations. If you look at the AC, this equation for the AC of the NPC, you'll see that it's indexing monster AC from the level. And it's also adding in the AC monster from the monster roll. So where do those indexes come from? If you know how to index in Excel, you'll know that this first part, index of monster AC of E4, which is level 10, 
is going to go down here, find level 10, come over here to the AC, and choose 13. So it's going to index that number by referencing these particular numbers. So the first number is the E4. And then the second number, the index for the AC monster from B4, is from the Defender. So it's going to go over, look up the Defender. Where is the Defender? Right here. And the AC is going to increase by plus 2. See that number right there, plus 2? So it's going to look at that plus 2 and add it into the equation. So if you take a 13 from the standard level, level 10 down below, plus the 2 added on for being a Defender, you'll end up with an AC of 15. That's how the indexing works. And then over here, HP, you'll be able to see the equation up there. Attack bonus, same thing. Damage, same thing. Except here in damage, I want to round to the 0.5 of a number, not just 0 0.0. And to do that, there's a, there's a function called mround. So you put in your equation in there, and at the end, comma, 0 0.5. So when you use M round with a 0 0.5, you're able to get 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5. It'll round to those 0.5s, to the 0.0s and the 0.5s. And then up here, it's just going to index what's the base attack of level 10, what's the extra attack DC of that level 10. And here's, does the level 10 have any legendary actions? It'll count them up. And down here is a little equation to figure out Effectively, how many attacks is this monster doing per round? In this case, 1.3. And that pretty much does it. This over here, you'll see the equation up above to see what that looks like. It's just basically looking at the base attacks and the EADC, extra attack DC. Legendary actions here. Percentage of successfully hitting. And once again, it's going to look at number of attacks per round. So that's how that's all worked up. And I showed you how to work up the PCs. So we can just run through a little test. I'll put in one PC like that, another PC like that. I'm not even looking at their stats. I'm just putting in three PCs, one with these stats, one with these stats, one with these stats. But I can look over here and see the average party level is a 4.3. See that, 4.3? So now I get a basic idea of what the average party level is. I haven't looked at these numbers, but there's a number over here to tell me what the average party level is. I'll give you the add equation. You can see that equation up above. Okay. And then once you get the average party level and you go through the simulation, you can see how many of these three PCs are actually dying. This encounter is actually so tough that 2.1 of the PCs would die. And up above, you can see the equation for that. If you can pause it, take a look. So once you see these equations, you'll get an idea of how to start putting these things together. You'll see some coefficients in some of these equations. That's based upon trial and error, going through manual tests, tweaking the numbers, and making sure things come out right at different levels. It took a while to figure out this simulation, but it came through pretty nicely. So now we have three PCs. Let's go ahead and throw in some monsters. Let's start off with a level 16. Uh, we'll go with the Skirmisher, throw in two, that raises it up to 55, so that's already getting pretty good. You know, maybe one PC would die. We see that 0.6, see that 0.6 right there? How many PCs would die? Part of a PC would die. So let's go ahead and throw in a level 7, we'll say a Sniper. Throw in one of them. Now we're up to 72. It's possible, see over here how many would die? 0.9. So it's possible that one of the PCs could die in this encounter. And that's what it's basically saving. This 72 right here corresponds to this chart on the side. 60 to 70 is that color green, and it's a standard encounter. So if I took away that one sniper and just left the two skirmishers from level 16, it would be a, this would be a simple encounter and the PCs would probably win it hands down. And if I took up two snipers, you'll see it'll go up to 93. This starts getting into the hard area where it's pretty certain that one of the PCs would probably die. So 
that gives you an idea of how to use this sheet. Okay, I think if there's any questions about this, go ahead and write them in chat. I'll go ahead and answer them. Okay, so that's gonna do it with this basic simplified view of my attack simulation sheet in Excel, which makes it really fast and really fun to actually make up encounters. This is Wisdom Hunter, and remember, whoever is having the most fun wins.